Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today we're going to talk about creatine supplementation for sports enhancement. It's efficacy studies and safety studies, and I've done quite a bit of literature research determining that creatine very likely is very safe, and creatine very likely has improvement in muscular performance. So creatine first was uh, talked about or discovered in the mid-1960s. Uh, scientists did muscle biopsies on uh, athletes that were physically exhausted and determined that muscle fatigue was related to depletion of phosphocreatine in the muscle cells. Your body has ATP, adenosine triphosphate, that's the basic uh, fuel or messenger in the cells that creates energy. Uh, creatine helps put phosphorus molecules on ATP and it generates it. So without creatine and ATP, your body would not be able to generate muscular energy and you would fatigue after just a few repetitions. Therefore, giving a creatine supplement, the thought is, is that creatine enhances the production of ATP, the replenishment of ATP, and the ongoing ability to fuel your muscles for uh, sports performance without fatigue. Uh, safety of creatine. Uh, creatine, uh, there's been many, many studies that show that it causes kidney problems, liver problems, other issues. I did do multiple research papers uh, reviewing this, and most of these studies were on an individual, so one person who had a liver issue or one person who had kidney issues. Uh, broader studies did not show any uh, side effects of creatine. Uh, there was perhaps some evidence that creatine uh, associated with dehydration did cause uh, kidney issues and there was a follow-up study that showed that that probably wasn't the case but I'm going to tell you if you take creatine drink a lot of water um, as far as the supplementing of creatine, your body has about 120 grams of creatine stored in its muscles. Uh, you can generate about one or two grams of creatine per day through diet and metabolism. Uh, most people that take creatine take in the 5 to 20 gram range with usually a loading dose and then a lesser dose after that. Uh, creatine is very well absorbed from the gut into the bloodstream, so we do know that you creatine you take by mouth is absorbed. Uh, it's excreted in the kidneys in about three hours if it is not absorbed or picked up by the muscles. So most people that take creatine take it after a workout when their muscles are creatine depleted. Um, it is enhanced absorption into the muscles when you have a high glucose intake or sugar intake. So taking creatine after exercise with between 50 and 100 grams of carbohydrates absolutely improves the ability of the muscles to uh, take in the creatine. Uh, you have the ability to, this is based on muscle biopsy, increase your creatine levels in the muscles by about 20 or 30 percent by doing creatine supplementation. All uh, goes along with the theory that creatine actually taken by mouth is absorbed in the muscles. There's been multiple efficacy studies that do show that in trained athletes, you have an improved performance. Um, it does include increase muscle mass in trained athletes. Uh, very little benefit in untrained uh, participants, so if you don't exercise, uh, taking creatine is not going to be helpful. Uh, creatine has been studied and shown in multiple muscle diseases to have improvements, so in muscular dystrophies, uh, in MS, in other muscle wasting diseases, ALS, uh, creatine has shown benefits. Um, it's shown improvement in bone density in the elderly. Uh, there's been a study that shows that in vegetarians, who we presume have a lower creatine intake because they don't eat meats and fish, that giving vegetarians uh, 5 or 10 grams of creatine a day actually improves uh, cognition and IQ. So there may be some cognitive benefits of taking creatine, especially if you have a low protein or low animal uh, intake in your diet, such as in a vegetarian. 
So overall, I'm going to say that creatine is safe in most people. Um, I would periodically have liver functions and kidney functions tested with your doctor. Uh, there's been some evidence that creatine may affect glucose metabolism and insulin levels. So if you're a diabetic, I would be a little cautious and monitor your blood sugars if you take creatine. Um, it is probably safe in older people. Um, it is probably beneficial in multiple muscle disease states. Uh, they did do a study of athletes from 55 to 70 years of age, and they seem to have a lesser benefit than a younger trained athlete does. So younger athletes may have a greater performance enhancement than in older athletes. Uh, creatine monohydrate, that is the creatine that we're talking about. There's been several other versions of creatine brought to the market. Uh, there are very little efficacy studies on these other versions of creatine. They are probably no more effective than creatine monohydrate. Uh, there's been very little safety studies on these other molecules, so when I just got done telling you that creatine is probably safe, I meant as the creatine monohydrate that you would buy at the health food store. Uh, as always, use everything in moderation. It is not an excuse to not exercise. It's not an excuse for a good diet and taking a multivitamin. Uh, Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.